Welcome back to WeBotApp Academy. In this video, we will be checking whether the password and confirm password matches or not. If it matches, if both the passwords are the same, then we will be inserting that value in this database. And if both the passwords are not same, then we will not be inserting that value in our database. The first thing which we will do in this video, and the next thing which we will be doing in this video is to encrypt this user password. All right, so let's get started. So all we have to do is to create a new condition. Let me use if and if user password equal to confirm password if user password equal to confirm password then we will be copying this enter line of codes and paste it here all right else if both the passwords are not same we will create an error message right the message will be password and confirm password not matched right. okay so let me copy this variable and uh, just below this line register a new account for free i will be opening a php tag now i will check whether there is any variable called messages right if messages not equal to null then i will ask php to display this error echo let me give it a break here again echo let me open a span property close the span property style color equal to red now i will write here that both the passwords are not matching all right now let me go to this project username user mobile one two three four five six seven eight nine ten uh, user password one two three and one two three four here we can see password and confirm password not matched all right okay and here if we update the data with the same password one two three and one two three insert now we can see that the data has been inserted in our database all right okay now the last thing which we have to do is to encrypt this password we can use any password we can either take user password or confirm password and here i will write encrypted encrypted password equal to equal to md5 user password all right and i will copy this variable and ins instead of uh, inserting it as user password i will be inserting now the encrypted password new user okay here new user mobile number your password one two three and one two three register now now let me reload this page now we can see that instead of uh, showing the password as one two three uh, the password got encrypted and it is one of the most secured way to store your user's password so before completing this video let me do one more thing if someone uh, creates an account here and if the account creation is successful i'll be showing one uh, value or i'll be showing one message that your account has been successfully registered all right so let me check if i have created any thank you page here and now i think i haven't created any thank you page so let me copy this enter page and create a new page called thank you thank you body and i will go to index copy all these lines and thank you thank you body now thank you body okay okay so now let me go to w3 school and get the last insert id let me check how to get the last insert id in pdo since we are using pdo here and last insert id equal to dollar con last insert id okay all done now i will be using header redirection function location equal to 
location equals to uh, index dot php question mark page equal to page equal to thank you and id equal to last insert id All right let me check two three one two three and one two three register now okay one two three one two three and one two three register now now you can see index.php page equal to thank you and id equal to six okay and here if we check the id the new id is six we have to go to this page and we have already included the database here we don't have to write all these things here all right and we delete in this line and from the url we already have the url here and here we have one uh, value which is for the id let me create a new variable called id equal to dollar underscore get get and here id echo id echo id okay right so here we have got the id as six this is the id all right now we have the id here and what we can do we can simply display the name of that user in this page all right so let's create one statement and select select user equal to select from users sorry select star which means select all values from users and users is the name of this table select star from users where id equals to this id that's all let me close this statement now sql equal to dollar con let me check whether the name is correct or not this double n okay con equal to prepare prepare select user okay so we have prepared the statement using pdo now sql equals to execute data equal to sql sql it's all video fits object for each data as row okay now database username equals to row and from here row user underscore name okay now we can check whether we are getting this value from the database or not hello double, double n All right so this is the value now what we will do here I will go to this section and remove all the data from this form okay 
all right we can also remove this uh, message as well here i can write that the hp question there their username your registration is successful you can now login and in the login it's ref here you can now login index dot php question page equal to login and here let me use this thing okay there i think we have not used the word echo okay the other one your registration is successful you can now login if i click on login i will be landed to the login page of this project in the next video we will be developing the login function of this project thank you for watching this video and consider subscribing this channel for upcoming updates